In this video, we will be going over how to import files to and from the Android tablet. When you download a pattern from an online source, you will have to import it into the robotic program. Some patterns will need to be unzipped before they can be loaded. You can find instructions on unzipping files by going to support.quilteasy.com, clicking on the Instructions tab at the top, and selecting Unzipping Files from the list. You will need to remember that the readable files for the robotic systems are DXF, QCC, QLI, 4QB, and CQP when you are looking for patterns to download. You can import patterns from your computer using a USB drive or from the internal memory on the tablet. Let's start by looking at how to load a pattern onto a USB drive from your computer. We will cover importing from the internal memory in another video. First, plug your USB drive into the computer. Now I am using Windows 7, but regardless of your version, the steps should be the same. Start by opening the file explorer. It is the folder icon in the toolbar here. First you will need to locate the downloaded file. By default, Windows will place all downloaded items in the downloads folder. This should be the case unless you have told Windows to save downloaded items someplace else. Select download from the left navigation bar. You will see a list of the items that you have downloaded. Locate the pattern in the list. Right click the file and select copy from the list. Look in the left navigation bar for the USB drive. They normally show up as removable disk and then some letter in parentheses. Right click somewhere on the page and select paste to load the file onto the page. Once the file is pasted onto the USB drive, you want to make sure that you eject it before you remove it from the computer. Ejecting makes certain that the USB drive doesn't become corrupted when you remove it from the computer. You can eject by right clicking on the USB icon here in the left nav bar and then selecting Eject. Remove the USB drive from the computer and insert it into one of the ports on the USB hub. This is the little black box mounted to the back of the tablet. 